So this is the uh, VQ35 motor. It shows serial number. One three seven three seven Y VQ thirty five. So just doing compression testing, and so I had to get a separate bell housing and a starter, and that's what's going to excite the motor. So I'm going to leave this recording, I'm trying to find a su safe, suitable spot for this camera, and. I'll leave it like this. So, as you can see, it's at zero. We'll leave that hanging right there. Alright, let's get this first one. Alright, so we are about 160 for the first cylinder. That's pretty good. Just so you can see the rows that I'm going to do, I'm doing, this is the back end towards the driver. I'm going to go do those first three, then I'm going to do the front three. Alright, I took off the intake manifold, allow air to get in, all that kind of stuff. So, all the spark plugs are out. I did refill it with oil, I took out the old oil. And I put new motor oil. I'm sorry, this is not an auto. This is not a autofocus, but this is, is very actually clear because it's brand new. Just so you can see, see that shine. That's motor oil. So, just so you can say that. Oh, it's empty. So, as you can see, we did that. We stripped out the wiring harness here to just get out the way. So as you can see, it's continuously recording. I'm gonna set it back down. And uh, let's go ahead to that was good. So 160. I already did these first two. I'm gonna do one camera. This one should be about 150 the last time I did it. If they're within 10 of each other, that's totally fine. And this is a cold crank too, so if it's uh, getting these numbers on cold, that means it's really good, but I'm still th thinking about getting the whole engine rebuilt, especially since I have it out. Deter depending on this, that's because they said the compression was good. If it's good, then I could just stick it in like that. About 155. I'm looking at it. I don't release it right away. I look and see if it holds. If it holds. That tells me, you know, the valve conditions and all that. 155. Alright. The uh, factory service manual for this vehicle states that the minimum is one. 45, 148, but that's after the engine's warmed, and when it's warmed, you know, your compression usually goes up because of your valves. And not your valves, it's giving me your rings. Alright, here we go. Excuse me. I'm having a hard time. Give me a sec here. Try to get six to seven revolutions. This one we're about 165. Pretty good for that one. Again, watch it. I don't see the needle moving. Alright, so this whole back end is good here. I did not add any oil whatsoever to these rear banks. Now, this set, when I move the camera. 
this thing was a different story, and I don't know if it was because it was with the intake manifold, but uh, see, I'm, I'm not even pausing. I don't want people to think it's a pause or kind of a gimmick. So what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna leave it recording there. Just so you can see. Alright, here we go. Alright, L7. I'm at 170. 170 on that one. Watching it. And going over this video, it's, I'm going to go over those numbers again. You know, okay. if it's a difference of 14 or more according to the factory service manual from Nissan, you know, definitely want to rebuild. And so, just you can see, on zero. Got above 180 on this one. That's the thing. If I got 180 here, I got about one. I think it was 150 something there. That's already a 20 plus difference. So, I mean, numbers don't lie. I'm showing it to you right now. Watch it. Okay, I don't. The engine had 56,000. 600 something miles when the uh, gentleman totaled his vehicle. So, as of right now, based on these numbers, the rear set bank is out of compliance to the front set. The compression is way off. Now, when I did take out the oil, I definitely noticed it was a uh, dyno type, so. Looking at the oil filter, there's a Quaker State oil filter for crying out loud, so that really tells me. Alright guys, that should definitely be in the rotations. Take a look. 170, 171, 172. All right, let's put the motor to rest down. So, because of these numbers, it seems like it's gonna constitute a rebuild which was not advertised at all. I mean, the thing is I could have a motor, for instance, I got an Acura out back that has only 70,000 miles, but it definitely needs a rebuild. You know, the previous owners, I don't know their condition and all that, you know, how they drive it, how they maintain it. But anyways, back to the oil, it was a dyno oil. So that's my um, recording here. So, engine harness separated, intake manifold, and my factory service manual. So, actually, let's go ahead and show that right now because, as you can see, okay, so this is the uh, engine mechanical section, and the 2009 to 2014 Maximas are the same, so same motor. So, as you can see there. This is from Nissan. So if we went to compression pressure, page 22. And this is how I am with paperwork. So,
according to this, 185 is the standard PSI. 142 is the minimum. And the difference in between cylinders, for, no more than 14 PSI. Now, the compression rate pays the low, they weren't really low, two adjacent cylinders, nope. Could be the head gasket, could be a number of things.